An extraordinary report states that their immediate disbursement to Federation allies India, China and Brazil is needed to defend our planet against interdimensional entities who could soon attempt to recapture Earth. Important to note about this report are that the references to interdimensional entities contained in it date back to the Great Patriotic War, World War II, when then-Soviet intelligence services confirmed the German Nazi regime's existing communication link with what can only be described as fallen angels slash demons, but which our planet's oldest written records refer to as the gods. These fallen angels slash demons, this report explain, were once vanquished from our Earth about five to six thousand years ago in what was then referred to by the ancients as the Great Overturning that nearly instantly froze millions of woolly mammoths of Siberia, destroyed the vast city-state known as Atlantis, and is recorded in the stories, religions and legends of all of our planet's peoples as the Great Flood. Most importantly, however, to have been destroyed in the Great Overturning, this report continues was the main geographical area inhabited on the Earth by these fallen angels slash demons located from the Indian subcontinent, through the Himalayan mountain range to what is present-day Ukraine, and whose human offspring were known as the Aryan race. The two major Sanskrit epics of ancient India, the Mahabharata and the Ramayana, this report explains, fully details the interactions of these fallen angels slash demons with the Aryan race including the use of their Vimana air slash space vehicle described as an apparatus which can go by its own force, from one place to place or globe to globe. Verifying this incredible ancient claim of the power of the Vimana to not only transverse our own planet, but those of others too, this report says, can be found in the symbol of these fallen angels slash demons called the swastika being discovered all over Earth including prior to World War II when the soldiers of the United States 45th Infantry Division proudly wore this symbol prior to rise of Nazi Germany. In fact, this report notes, the earliest known object with swastika motifs is a bird from the tusk of a mammoth from the Paleolithic settlement of Mazine, Ukraine dated to 10,000 BC, and its ancient use has also been discovered in the Mississippian era sites in the Ohio and Mississippi River Valleys, the Hopi and Navajo Indians of North America and among the Celts, ancient Germans, Finns, and too many other worldwide cultures to mention in just one article. To our human race reconnecting with these fallen angels slash demons, this report says, appears to have occurred in the 16th century when a brilliant new star appeared on the sky in early November 1572 and which we now know to have been Tycho's supernova occurring in the constellation Cassiopeia and which was one of about eight supernovae visible to the naked eye in historical records. More critical to note about the Tycho supernova, MSC experts in this report state, is that it also appeared to cause an interdimensional rift allowing humans to once again communicate with the fallen angels slash demons who had previously been expelled from our planet the most important of whom was the personal astrologer-sorcerer to England's Queen Elizabeth I, John D. From the historical records from the 16th century about D and his assistant's contact with these fallen angels slash demons we can further read. D would perform ritual invocations of the angels, and Kelly would stare into a scrying mirror or crystal ball, wherein a series of angels appeared, transmitting prophecies, instructions and furious pronouncements on the spiritual nature of mankind. The angels were not charitable. Raging at the fallen state of humanity, who have only become progressively worse since being sent east of Eden, they consistently liken humans to harlots not in the sexual sense, but in the sense that they weakly allow their attentions to be captivated by literally anything except God. Over years of actions, the angels described the ordering of the cosmos, a series of instructions for ritual invocations, predictions of apocalypse and events to come in European politics, and, finally, the angelic or Enochian language, which they explained was the Ur language of humanity, spoken before the fall of Adam. For D, this was not magic, but religion he supplicated himself to the angels totally. Kelly, though, was terrified of the spirits, considering them demons and constantly begging D to cease the sessions. D insisted on pushing ahead, overworking Kelly to exhaustion and keeping him virtually prisoner at Mort Lake. The angels, for their part, detested Kelly, clocking immediately that he had previously engaged in demonic grimoire magic, and quickly became exasperated with both D and Kelly. 
Though D may have been the smartest member of the species, he was still perceived as an inconsequential gnat by the angelic hyperintelligences particularly when D and Kelly began begging them for money, Kelly even asked if the angels could loan him money. But for all of D and Kelly's embarrassing lack of evolution, they would have to do, because the angels had a plan and D and Kelly were on the hook. Put simply, the angels wanted nothing less than a new world order, run by divine principles, and proposed what must be one of the most dangerous ideas in Western history, a world religion, based on love and unity a super-Christianity or terminal monotheism which would not only reunite Catholicism and Protestantism but even Judaism and Islam into a fused whole, all made possible, of course, by the technology the angels had provided for direct individual contact with the spiritual agents of God. Instead of relying on terrestrial authority or scripture. Combined with the foundation D had already laid for a temporal new world order under Elizabeth, this new religion would unite the souls of the entire globe, fusing all humanity into one state, and one church, all directed by the angels themselves the new Jerusalem. So fervent were the angels that they commanded D and Kelly to present themselves to the court of Rudolf II, the Holy Roman Emperor, tell him he was possessed by demons, and command him to heed the angelic message. This was a death sentence but D and Kelly, shockingly, made good on it. Rudolf ignored them, but the papal nuncio did not, and plotted their destruction. The church, it seems, took D and Kelly's claim seriously perhaps as a threat to their very existence. Humans talking to God without scriptural or institutional mediation was not on the menu. To the evidence of the success of England under the direction slash guidance of these fallen angles slash demons, this report says, cannot be denied as it began the British Empire on which the sun never set, that is until the end of the 20th century when upon the death of Queen Victoria, in 1901, the German House of Hanover, of which Queen Victoria headed, disseminated their occult knowledge throughout all of the royal houses of Europe. What began then, this report grimly notes, was a century of wars deliberately initiated and controlled by these fallen angels slash demons intent upon total destruction so as to establish their one world religion, the most destructive being World War II. Causing World War II to be so destructive, this report continues, was the German Nazis successful establishment of an interdimensional transport slash communication device called Die Glock, the Bell allowing for the first time since 1561 of Imana Air slash spacecraft to appear on Earth in 1937. The previous attempt of these fallen angels slash demons to reintroduce their Vimana Air slash spacecrafts on Earth since the Great Overturning, this report notes, occurred on April 14, 1561 when John D. traveled to Nuremberg, Germany and using the occult mechanisms he had been taught by these entities caused to erupt a furious sky battle witnessed by all of the residents of the city, and in which the fallen angels slash demons were defeated. By 1937, though, this report says, an intact Vimana Air slash spacecraft was not only in the hands of the German Nazis, they were able to start duplicating it resulting in what are now referred to as the Foo Fighters, a term used by Allied aircraft pilots to describe various UFOs or mysterious aerial phenomena seen in the skies over both the European and Pacific theaters of operations. Even after World War II, MSC experts in this report say, the Nazi Germans' remaining Foo Fighters, along with the Die Glock device, were secreted to Antarctica where they remain today and attested to by numerous high-ranking present and former Russian military officials. To how great of a danger our planet is in due to these fallen angels slash demons reappearing with their Vimana Air slash spacecrafts, this report warns, is evidenced by the mysterious December 9, 2009 event called the Norway Spiral where a fantastical otherworldly spiral appeared in the night sky over both Norway and Sweden and which the ancients of people of our planet had all recorded was sign that always preceded the arrival of the gods. Equally as critical to note about the 2009 Norway Spiral, MSC experts state, is that within days of it occurring dozens, if not more mysterious crafts began erupting from deep beneath Siberia leaving massive craters and hurtling into space with one of them being tracked this week where it has taken up an orbit around our Sunday. As President Putin this past August, 2016, 
classified as a potential national threat any news slash information relating to these mysterious crafts erupting from beneath Siberia, this report does note, however, it further states that what is now called the Chelyabinsk meteor event of February 15, 2013, that exploded with 20-30 times more energy than was released from the atomic bomb detonated at Hiroshima, was, based on orbital trajectory, in actuality an apparent attack against the Siberian region. Where these mysterious crafts are being launched from, and was exactly like the June 30, 1908 meteor attack upon this same region that is now called the Tunguska event. Also, and perhaps most disturbingly, this report concludes, a CU attempts to demonize President Putin and embroil Russia in war are, in fact, an elaborate masquerade designed so that these Western powers can overrun Siberia to destroy slash dismantle what by all appearances seems to be an ancient defense system designed to protect our planet from these fallen angels slash demons who are now in league with, if not outright controlling, nearly all of the Western nations on Earth. And finally, though not exactly referred to in this MSC report, Western scientists appear to be preparing their citizens for what is to come by publishing many scientific papers this past year proving that parallel worlds exist and interact with our world, a position, mind you, first stated by the renowned French scientist and UFO researcher Jacques Vallée, who decades ago warned that what are commonly called aliens from other worlds may, in fact, be fallen angels and demons. The mammoths of Siberia, destroyed the vast city-state known as Atlantis, and is recorded in the stories, religions, and legends of all of our planet's peoples as the Great Flood. Most importantly, however, to have been destroyed. An extraordinary report states that their immediate disbursement to Federation allies India, China, and Brazil is needed to these fallen angels slash demons, this report explain, were once vanquished from our earth about five to six thousand years ago in what was then referred to by the ancients as the great overturning that nearly instantly froze millions of wool or two, when then Soviet intelligence services confirmed the German Nazi regime's existing communication link with what can only be described as fallen angels slash demons, but which our planet's oldest written records refer to as the gods to defend our planet against interdimensional entities who could soon attempt to recapture Earth. Important to note about this report are that the references to interdimensional entities contained in it date back to the Great Patriotic War, World 